Well, hello there and welcome to another training video. In this nugget, I'll be sharing with you how to enable developer mode in Odoo. Let's get started. Well, the developer mode or debug mode as many people will call it, will unlock access to extra and advanced tools in Odoo. There are several ways of activating the developer mode and I'll be showing you all of them. The first option of activating the developer mode is by navigating into the setting options of your Odoo. You can do that directly into your installed instance or directly into the setting option. I'll click setting. And from the general setting option, I'll scroll down to the developer tools and I'll have activate the developer mode. Pretty easy, don't you think? Well, the other way of doing this or accessing the setting option is I'll navigate into my instance, which happens to be a CRM. I'll then navigate into uh, the configuration option, select setting option, navigate back to general setting and voila the developer tools and activation of developer mode is up. The developer mode and activation of the developer mode option will become visible. The other way of activating the developer mode is by using a browser extension. I'm using Chrome, so I'll navigate into my Chrome extension window and I'll search for Odo Debug. I'll click on Add to Chrome, add the extension to Chrome. And once it's added, I'll have the ability to see it from Odo Debug option. So I can click directly and enable debug and disable debug when I am on my Odo section. The other aspect of enabling this very same debug option is if I go back into my CRM, for example, and navigate to the command option or the command palette in Odo. So to quick launch the command palette in Odo, I'll press on Control and letter K when I am in my Odo, I will then type in directly the term debug. That is D E B U N G. You'll notice that the command that allows me to activate the debug mode with assets will show up. And by just clicking, the debug option turns on in Odo. Now, the other way that you can still use the same options to edit this debug option, the other option is through navigating to the Odo URL. For example, if it's http xxx.odo.com slash web, immediately after the web, there are two ways of doing this, so I can put a question mark and do a debug option and quote that to on. Remember, on, one is for on and zero is for off. You can also decide to say, rather than on, you can say true. Both of them will still work the same. You press on enter, the debug option turns on. Now, when you have already worked on the debug mode and it's on into your Odo, so I'll just activate it using either of the methods. You go into my uh, extension and say Odo. Uh, I can also go to my setting and activate it for you. 
activate developer mode, activate developer mode with assets. So once I activate the developer mode, you will notice that there is a new bug option that appears here. And this allows me to access other uh, options within my Odo. Um, and just click on that to make sure it's active, go back into my CRM and do other advanced pieces of configurations just because I have enabled the debug option. And you can tell by navigating to my CRM, the number of elements here, I can uh, edit actions, which I couldn't edit before enabling the debug option. We have view fields, access rights, who do you want to give access to what, what can other people do. They also have the ability to uh, get view activate access debugging, become a super user into my um, Odo. So whenever you really, really want to use the debug option, remember you need to be a user with, whenever you're using the debug option, remember you need to be a user with current knowledge of the CRM. Otherwise, you'll end up messing up your old CRM and you can't access anything. Not everyone has the right to do all this. Again, remember, unless you are an admin or a root user, then that will give you the advantage of accessing the debug option. Well, that, well, those are the different methods that you can use to enable the debug option in Odo CRM. Well, I'm glad you followed up on this video. I'll see you in the next nugget.